Wristman Cooking. Uh, welcome to the channel. We're going to do something quick, simple. Um, this one you just set it all up, leave it, you can go and do something else. Relaxing Sunday meal, no problem at all. This is a whole rack of beef cut in half. They call it short ribs. Um, this one I'm going to slice it near to the bone. Make sure you tidy it all up, take all the silver side off. The butcher does it. Uh, this I got it from Anthony. Hello Anthony, he's the nearest butcher we've got here. Great guy, he's a, a Brit as well. And I think his family is from, mixed from uh, Yorkshire. Okay, this is, anyway, this is uh, back ribs. Some barley, mixed garlic and herbs, beef stock, chicken stock is okay as well. Conserva, tomato paste. This is a soup mix we buy, frozen. It's really good, you can use it just by itself in soup as well. Uh, onions and carrots. A touch of sherry, uh, Worcester sauce, and oil obviously for frying it. What I'm gonna do now, just turn the camera a little bit, show you, we're gonna cut the ribs. I look how nice the ribs are here. We're gonna slice them individually, so obviously everything permeates inside it, and you get a really nice uh, flavour right through the ribs. Let me turn the camera so you see. Okay, here are the ribs, here. Now uh, we're going to slice right near to the bone. Get a nice sharp knife. And mind your fingers. best doing it from the one side, you see where the bone is. Sometimes when you buy these ribs, you get this silver side in here, just take it off, very easy to do. Okay, that's ready. What we're going to do is move on to the cooking them in the oil. Okay, put the oil in, let's get it up to temperature. Back in a second. Okay, the oil is up to heat. Let's put the ribs in now. If you have to seal the ribs from all sides. That will really keep in the flavour of these beautiful ribs. What's the sauce? A little bit of salt and pepper. The ribs need to be slightly brown on all sides. Make sure you see all the way all in. Onions and carrots at this point. I leave everything chunky here because everything will melt down anyway. So I leave it for about one to two hours in the heat. Uh, I leave the skin on the carrots. You know how much fibre is left in the carrots there that people throw away? Okay, mix everything all up together. At this point, put some 
tomato paste it. Make sure you get it at the bottom there to absorb all that caramelization of the meat. Well, the smell is already coming up, guys. Beautiful smell. The garlic and the herbs go in now. Mixing everything all up again. Now you put the beef stock or chicken, whatever you've got handy. Both are good. Smell a vision if you could smell these guys. Beautiful. The body. And a little touch of sherry. You can use uh, red wine for this recipe if you want as well. Make sure you get a nice red wine. And now you're going to put in the soup mix, any soup mix. All mixed vegetables. This is really good because it's got everything in sweets, beans, carrots, peas. Leave it for about five to ten minutes to melt down a bit before you put it in the oven. I've got the oven on uh, about 170. You're gonna do it a bit slow because you're gonna do it for about um, one to two hours. Check the meat, you'll see when it's ready because the meat comes away from the bone. Leave this for about 10 minutes to melt together. Okay, about 10 minutes. It's all ready now, it's all intermingling to each other. I told you it's a fast, easy recipe. 15 minutes tops preparation. Put it, bake it in the oven. One hour, one and a half hours maybe. Two hours tops, it's gonna be ready. And then you've got a really warming for a winter's day. Really warming stew, casserole. And this is a bit similar to calata, Maltese calata, but uh, the vegetables are a bit different. Okay, I'm gonna get some foil, bang it in the oven. Okay, you cover it over with the foil. If, obviously, if you've got a casserole uh, dish with the lid on, even better. I've got the oven ready. I'm gonna put it straight in now. 170. In it goes. Okay, that's it. See you back in about one and a half hours. Keep checking it to make sure it's uh, not burning or anything, but if you put enough uh, stock in, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, see you soon. Okay guys, been nearly two hours now. Uh, I'm gonna take it out and check it. Uh, I did some uh, mashed potatoes. I like to do the bit of garlic. I'll show you how we do it. Okay, let's take it out now. Let's have a look at it. Almost two hours it's been now. Uh... Oh, the smell, guys. Can you smell? Get rid of these. Oh, very hot though. Wow. Let's give you a quick look. Looks great, guys. I'm gonna just mix it up a little bit. Uh, my potatoes are already ready. Just going to. Drain them. Switch off the electric. I mash them uh, with a little bit of garlic butter. It's been a 
isn't just having a one really nice potato. It gives it a little, little bit of a lift. Okay, here's the plate. Couple of ribs there. Everything is melted down beautifully. Eh? And some mashed potato. Let's get a fork and give it a taste. Mashed potato. Mm. Oh wow, look at this meat, guys. Just breaks away. You don't even need a knife. Carrots. Beautiful, and the carrots, they give it that like sweet taste. Okay, let me put the camera up so I talk to you better. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. That's pork, short ribs with mashed potatoes. I'm gonna eat now because I'm feeling hungry. Uh, follow the video, like, share, and uh, put them on your media on Facebook, it really helps me. Um, more, I'm going to try and do uh, one food video every week and one adventure or travel. Look out for my videos. Uh, if you click the notification bell, you'll be sure to get it in your emails. Uh, okay, bye. Thank you, English Money Mortar. See you next time.